so welcome back so let's start further work on the login ok now right after let me just show you that right in here so below this login button right in here we will create a button like for example if the user do not have an account then we will show right in here tax just simply the user can create an account ok so let's go and do that ok first we will create a dot file for the account check ok so we will check the account if the user have or not so first right in here let's close that also that and also close the widget ok now right in the lib we will create a new directory ok by the name of account underscore check ok the folder has been created as you guys can see in here now right click on this account check and create dot file ok now we will name this as a account underscore check ok it's fine in here now in here we will have a stateless widget ok and we will name this as a account check ok now we will remove that const key we don't need this click right here on the stateless widget ok and import the material dot dot library all fine now we will need some kind of variable just as a reference so let's go and do that first right in here we will create some variable as a reference ok first one will be final and it will be bool type for the login ok so we will check that if the login is equal to true or false according to that we will take a step then ok right after we will create a final void callback as you guys can see in here ok and we can name this as a press whenever the user click or press on it we will send him to the next page in the future and as I told you before about the void callback function it is basically takes no parameters or you can say return no parameters ok so let's go and create a constructor for this and here we will say account check ok now right in there we will say require this dot we will go with the login first and right after require this dot press ok now let's have in the widget build ok we will remove that container from here and uh, we will have a raw widget ok the capital R now right in there basically we want to show the text for the do not have an account ok and also we will show that right in the center ok as you guys can see in here right in here in the center ok so for the center in here we will add a property main axis alignment ok and we will set this to center ok this one main axis alignment dot center so it will be right in the center now right after we will be children and right in the children we will have that text ok and the text now we will say login that we created before this one as you guys can see at the top in here we will say login let's find here and now in here if the login is equal to true then in that case we will simply say if if login is true then we will show this text ok do not have an account ok and what is basically mean by login true it's mean we will show this text if the login is equal to true it's mean we will show this text right on the login page ok right in here on this login page 
okay and now else if the login is equal to false it simply means that we will show this text okay so and here we will say already have an account and we will show this text already have an account for the sign up okay if the user already have an account then you will show that you guys will understand that whenever we run the application okay so right after let's do some styling for it okay text style we will set the font size first we will set it to 16.0 okay right after we will set the color okay color stored we will go with the white one it's fine in here now simply we will have a click event for the creating account okay so in here we will say first gesture detector okay as you guys can see in here and right after in there you will say on tap and there will be a press whenever the user tap on it press it okay we will send him to the next page okay in the future so in the text we will say child text and in there we will say if the login is true okay if true then we will say create account okay and we will show that right on the login page okay it simply mean that if the login is true then we will show that right on the login page okay and if it's false the login then we will show that okay login and it will be simply this one for the sign up okay we will send back the user to the login page but we didn't create the sign up page yet so we will do that in the future okay in the upcoming videos and right after let's do some style okay or you can simply just copy that style from here okay for time saving and in here we will paste it okay now in here we will make a little change the color will be blue this time okay and also we will make this bold okay so font weight will be font weight dot bold it's fine in here okay and right after let's add a const modifier all good okay so now let's go back to the info dot dot as you guys can see in here now right after this button login in here we will say account check okay and we will remove this for now we will add it one by one okay now in the account check the first one will be login and we will set this true true okay now the login is true as i told you before that let's go back to the account check again and in here guys notice that login is true okay now we'll go back to the account check and in here you guys can see right in this text if the login is true if okay then we will show this text okay so for the login page only this text will be there okay not this because if the login is false then only we will show this text and in here as you guys can notice login is now is true okay so we will show only this text in case of true and right in here in the just a detector on that event okay right in here login is true as you know guys okay so if the login is true then we will show only this text okay not this one this will be only in the case of if the login is false so only now we will show this text and this text okay because the login is true 
and you guys can see that in here okay so right after in here the press okay and right in there let's run the app and see the output okay let's go and click on this when man dot dot and let's see now as you guys can see in here don't you have an account and create account okay as I told you before in here we set the login to true so in that case only don't you have an account and create account will be shown right in here and you guys can see in here okay and let me show you that right in the account check there we go okay don't you have an account if true the login and in here create account if true login okay and you guys can see that on the emulator right in here so right after let's do some spacing between them okay so for this and also we will create some height so first right in here right down in here we will set the size box and in there we will set the height let's set it to 15.0 okay for now and add the const modifier to the size box okay right in the account check okay let's control s press it and you guys can see the height okay between the login button and in here okay all good and now let's create some space between the don't you have account and create account okay so for this right in here you will simply copy that and in here we will press it and we will remove that height and we will save it okay and we will set the width to 10 okay and now let's press ctrl s and you guys can see the space between them okay so it's look really cool so now whenever the user click on this create account we will send the user to the sign up page okay but we didn't create the sign up page yet okay so we will do that now so let's go back to the info dot dot right in here first now we will create a new directory right in the lib okay and we will name this as a sign up underscore up now in this folder we will create a dart file and we will name this as a sign up okay underscore screen that's fine in here okay now in here we will have a stratless widget okay and uh, we will name this as a sign up screen all good now remove this const key import the library material dot dart that's fine now we will leave this as an empty page okay in the next videos upcoming videos we will work on that okay now close this sign up screen okay dot dart now now write in the account check in the press right in here we will set the navigator to to send the user to the sign up screen okay so in here we will simply copy that navigator from here as you guys can see simply copy it okay and write in here paste it and in here we will remove that home screen and we will say sign up screen okay as you guys can see okay now let's check this let's press ctrl s save it or you can run it from here okay run man dot dot so now let's go and click on this create account but first let me tell you 
as I told you before we didn't create anything in the sign up screen ok it will be just an empty page let's now click on this create account as you guys can see in here it's working totally fine and we are now on the sign up screen and it's totally empty ok so it's fine and that's it for this video right in the next video we will work further